Hey. So, for the past two years, I've been thinking about opening my own online shop. But before I started my YouTube channel, I didn't really know how to make anything. I was trying to dabble in tapestry weaving, but I don't really have much to show for that. The past couple of weeks, the thought of opening my own online shop came back into my mind when people were asking me if I was gonna start doing commissions soon for my Patrick cardigans, or if I had any other products available to sell. So I decided that today would be the day that I open my own online shop. And here I am bringing you along through the process. I'm not sure if there are other videos on the topic and like bringing you along step by step, um, but I am going to be learning as I go and I thought it would be cool to take you along to see my mistakes, errors, my uh, success, like my non-errors. <laughs> so I thought this will probably be cool to do a multi-series of so I can take you step by step of creating the website, creating the products, designing the products, packing orders, um, making new collections, things of that nature. And then also showing the process of actually launching and sustaining the business, especially if it's something that you want to do. This is going to be a lengthy video just because I want to show you every step of the way. Will it succeed? Will it fail? Only time will tell. So let's go ahead and trust the process and get started. So I thought it would be cool to bring you all along with me while I create my first ever online shop because I have literally no idea what I'm doing. But thankfully there's an app called Universe, which is the amazing sponsor of today's video. I'll be using Universe, which is an app that simplifies creating a website for literally anything that you want to create. So it can be a store, an art portfolio, or a place where you have all your links for other people to go to. And it's free which is my middle name, if you didn't know. So, out of respect for myself, I think I have to try Universe out. I'll bring you along and show you the process of designing my shop, creating the products for it, and then if it does well, updating the shop, packing orders, creating themed collections for different seasons, and updating the shop in another video. I think being transparent is great because it motivates and inspires others who have doubts about creating their own online shop. And so that's, I think I've said this like eight times already, I'm not sure, but this is kind of the reason why I want such a lengthy video is because in case that you're someone like me who doesn't know what they're doing and want to see the process of creating just in case you haven't seen it anywhere else, it's all here for you. An amazing, wonderful fashion designer by the name of Virgil Abloh created a website where he literally listed step by step of how to create your own brand and that was another thing that really inspired me to do this video and to be even more transparent because I personally don't see why everyone can't be successful in their own endeavors, you know? So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm someone who's pretty intimidated with websites and coding. And so when I heard that Universe was an all-in-one tool that simplifies the whole website process, I thought it would be great to give it a try. This is my first time ever touching this app, so I'm going to be giving it my critiques and full honesty while I go through the process of creating my own website. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an account. I'm going to have a little screen here or here to show you what I'm doing, by the way. I'm using an iPad just to see what I'm doing a lot better because my eyes are very bad but you can do this from your phone. Okay, so the first thing it says here is to choose your free domain to get started. Um, I'm gonna use my Instagram name, Cozy Cardigan, because I've, I'm just used to it at this point. I was gonna change it, but you know. All right, so right here it's asking what kind of site am I making? I'm gonna do online store. Right here, it says choose a starting point. Don't worry, you can personalize it later. Oh, this is cute. For some reason, I'm someone that naturally goes towards like cool photography. So I don't know, I might choose that one. I'm gonna choose this one. 
Okay, right here it says, what are you taking payments for? Um, crochet fashion, I guess. Enter a payment amount. I'm guessing this is how much, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna type in a random number. Oh, okay. So what I'm guessing this is, is like, it's wanting you to put up your first product just to have it on the store. Um, none of the products are done right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part. And then add all my information in. Oh, this is exciting. I'm not gonna do premium right now because I haven't actually used it, so uh, I'm gonna exit out and not do that. All right, welcome to the grid. We'll show you how to customize your site, pinch to resize blocks. Oh, okay. Hold and drag to move blocks. Hold and drag. These sound effects are so cute. Okay. All right, so really quick, I'm gonna look around this on my own and then I'm gonna like kind of talk to you about it in a second. <laughs> Those sound effects remind me of Animal Crossing, doesn't it? Listen, listen. Does it not? All right, let me, let me stop. I am a big uh, font person. I really love cool fonts. And I am also very picky about the type of font that I use. So, I would probably be here for a very long time figuring out what font I want. Cause I also, if I choose a font, I want it to be, I want it to correspond with everything else on the page. So I'm gonna choose something simple for right now, just so we can move on. And then I'm going to, I think it would be cool if they could add a way that you can upload your own fonts, like like say you download a font that you pay for online or something and you want it to use and you want to use that specific font that'd be cool if there was a way that you can upload that on here i think that'd be pretty cool um i'm gonna use this open one for now and then i'm going to i don't want it to be so big oh 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 my gosh this is so customizable it's insane I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible because this could literally be a seven hour video of me just playing around with this stuff. I'm not sure if I like the block background personally. So the color scheme that I think I would go for is like neutral toned with the neutral tones and greens and pops of color. But the fact that I added this little flower here, it's making me want to make it really pink and pastel and girly. but. Uh, I should have planned beforehand, but I didn't know how this was going to be. Um, but this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go with orange vermilion. I'm going to go with vermilion for now. Can I like drag it somehow to make it bigger? But like not... Oh, what does this do? Oh. Oh. So, okay. If you drag up or then you can like add layers to the page apparently. Oh, if you hold and drag, you can take it to wherever you want it to go. It sounds just like Animal Crossing. I need those instructions back. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, um, I want it to be like right here in the middle like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is style. There we go. Wait, is it there we go? No, it's not what I want. Uh, I'm liking these flowers. I really am. And I'm thinking, what if for every season, the um, page looks different. So like for fall time, I can change the, uh, the flowers to like, like a brown color or like an orange color to match fall colors and stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. So right now it's summertime, so I kind of want like, I don't know what, su I know every color for every season except for summer because I can care less about summer, if I'm being honest. 
I don't like what's going on with the tie. The cool thing I'm seeing is that like you can layer uh, different elements on top of each other. So like how I just did there. And I think it's really cool because it gives you complete creative control. And I, I'm someone who loves to customize everything. So this is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna take the time to figure out what I'm doing so this video isn't eight hours long. And then when I come back, I'm gonna have like a set plan for how I want this homepage to look. Two hours later. So I just spent like around an hour trying to figure out how to use um, Universe. And now that I've got kind of an understanding of it, I can show you how to use it yourself. So right here, this is what I have so far. I was thinking that I'll either have in, like two images of some pieces on the top here. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to do that once all of the products are done and then I can place it on the website. But yeah, I added more of those flowers here and if you want to do that, all you have to do is choose the specific block you want it to be at and then click the part that says shape. And then you can choose whatever shape you want and then whatever color you want the shape to be and as well as how big or small you want it to be. And then so if you scroll down a little bit, that's where the main brand name is going to be. And then I'm going to have an area where I'm talking about something. I don't know what it is just yet. This is just like the little base idea. And then when you scroll down, this is where the little links are going to be. So I, for right now, I have a shop about process, customs, and tutorial. And so with each, I am going to have a better photo. These are just little placeholders until the products are done, of course. And then I'm going to have like a little description, like right here, it says shop different pieces here. It's gonna, it's gonna say something better than that, but I just had that as a placeholder. To add these little shop buttons, all you have to do is choose what block you want it to be at, and then click this little part right here that says button. And then you can literally name it whatever you want. And you can change the font style, how big or small you want the font to be, what color you want the text to be, and then what color you want the background to be as well. Then you can change the button size, whether you want it to fit just the text or a full width. And you can even animate it. So when you animate it, it's basically whenever someone clicks that button, the little animation thing is gonna go off and you can choose any of these, which is really cool. And then if you want to add a photo, you can go ahead and choose whatever block you want it to be on, click photo, and then choose something random from your gallery. I'm going to choose this. And then if you drag from like the corner of the image, you can make it as big or small as you want it to be. And then down here, I just added like my little contact information. So I have my Instagram link, um, I have my YouTube link, and then my email if anyone needs to contact me for whatever reason. I think this front page is good enough for right now. Like I said before, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it more once the products are actually done. Just so, but I just have this like this just so I know essentially how I want it to look. Also, when I noticed the sell button, I think this is the most important part if you're selling products. So basically, the sell button looks like this. You can change how big or small you want it to be right here the same way the other buttons look like you can change the color of the price and then you can change the color of the background for the price and like any animations if someone clicks on it and stuff right here under payment you're going to create the different products that you're going to sell like i tested it out right here um the crochet granny square tote bag i put it's going to be 20 dollars. so i'm going to create a new product so say I want to sell the leg warmers for $25. So I'm going to put um, ruffle leg warmers and I'm going to click create product. And then right here, it's telling you what kind of information you'll need from the people purchasing. So obviously you'll need the shipping address. Um, you can ask for the phone number to send them updates on tracking, if anything. I was going through this and apparently you can actually ship through Universe. So basically they will create the shipping label and all you have to do is print it out from your phone, which is pretty simple and easy. Fine. Okay, so this was the home page. I think it's good for now. I'm gonna say this for the last time. I'm going to update it once all the products are done. So I guess I'm going to click next. I don't know what next is. I've been avoiding clicking it just in case I can't go back for any reason, but I'm going to click next. 
so once you finish the first page, it, the site's gonna go live and then you're gonna be able to add all the different pages that you wanna add. So I personally wanna add an about page. I'm gonna create the store page. Then I'm going to add, I added an about page. I wanted to make the customs page where you can add, where you can request to buy customs and stuff. So now I created essentially all the pages that I want on here. So now I'm just gonna go through and customize them all. Okay, so this is gonna be the shop page. I'm gonna, I, I, I would like it if you can see at least two products at one time. So just so you don't have to be scrolling forever, just to see whatever you're looking for. So I'm going to keep these here as placeholders. so that when I come back with my actual products, I can just go ahead and paste it the way that I want to paste it. All right, so essentially this is kind of how I want it to look. I'm going to probably add a little title. So this is where it says shop. I do want right here to be the little page. But yeah, essentially this is where it's gonna say shop and then I'm gonna have a little text here text here talking about the shop. The one thing I do wish it had was a way to undo or go back to something you previously did, but I don't see that being an option at the moment. I think I'm going to, I wanna figure out a way where I can add all the measurements and stuff, as well as the materials used in each piece without it clogging up the entire... Like, you know how like on, if you shop at like Minga London or something, when you click a product, the page gets bigger, you can see the image more clearly, and it has the description about everything, about the size, what the model, like the model size and everything. I wanna be able to do that, but I just personally don't know how. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But essentially for right now, this is what the shop page is gonna look like. For the about page, oh, okay, so you, okay. I am all over the place right now, but this is my first time using it, so it's okay. So if you click the page, you can add sub pages in that page. So this is what I'm gonna do for the products. So for the sub page, I'm gonna have a specific page for the product. And so I'm gonna name this um, cat beanie. And then that's gonna be the page for the product. I'm so happy I found this because I really wanted sub pages, so I'm glad that's there. And what you're gonna do is go back into the shop area, click edit, and then when you have that one image, you can go to links, open another page, and then you can go to shop, and then right here it has the cat bee. Um, page that I created. So I'm going to link it to that and just to test it out I'm going to go ahead and let it put it on the live website and then I'm going to click check it out And so when I scroll down the image is going to be right here I'm going to click it and here it opens the cat beanie page. Whoever created this universe app idea is really cool and I think I love you because the way that this is so customizable and the fact that I can just do this from my phone or my tablet and I don't have to like exclusively use a laptop, I think this is just a brilliant idea in my personal opinion. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do my about page. So on my about page, I want to have a description on or the basically the purpose of the shop and also information on me. My main reason for creating this website and this shop, and as cheesy as it sounds, is so that it can inspire you as well as inspire me. I see posts about people saying how they really want to open their own shops, but they're too scared that it's going to fail or people aren't going to like it. But the only way you're going to figure out if it will actually work is if you actually try and just push those fears away and just do it. We don't know whether it'll work or not, so the only way to know is just to take that chance and 
that chance might be one of the best chances you've ever taken. Also, I've seen people who compare themselves to others or say, I won't be able to be as good as this person. I won't be able to do this as best as that person can. And I want to showcase that everybody makes mistakes. Everybody fails. I fail, I make mistakes. And so that's why I wanna have that little process page on the website so you can see the errors I've made or the difficulties I've made in the process of making certain pieces. I want to be I want to be open and show the fact that everybody's human and it's okay to be human and make mistakes and trust the process and go through that process no matter how long or difficult it is and that whatever happens it's perfectly okay. I also want this message to be for myself because I am someone who has a lot of self-doubts and I get anxious really easily and so I want to be able to remind myself that it's okay to feel these things as long as I just keep going and trust that whatever happens, it's for me, not to me, and I can learn from those mistakes. If if this whole thing turns out to be a flop, then I learn from it, and I've gained. I've also gained the experience of creating a shop and a website, and I have more knowledge, and I can actually say, hey, it didn't work out, but at least I tried. Also, if it weren't for the incredible, loving people around me, I probably wouldn't have been able to convince myself to do this in the first place, whether it's creating my website, my online shop, my YouTube channel, crocheting in the first place, any other my, of my art endeavors. And for those who don't have those specific figures in your life, I'm here. Now you have one. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But I'm here to tell you that you can do it. You can create whatever you want to create. If you want to build a sneaker shop, if you want to build a fashion shop, if you want to build an amazing portfolio for yourself and for, ev for other people to look at, you can do it. And I'm here to encourage you every step of the way and show you that you can do it. But of course, the first supporting figure in your life has to be yourself. Okay, so work on that, keep your head up, you got this. Another kind of selfish reason why I wanna build this website is because I want to give you all a part of myself. Whether it is just a little beanie that you put on for the winter time or a cozy cardigan that you love wearing because of the colors, I want you to think about me because it's the little uh, pieces of me that I'm placing in the world no matter even if it's a small piece it's still a, it's, it's still a piece you know that I created with my hands and my love and yeah it sounds a bit selfish but I don't really care it's basically my mark on the world no matter how tiny it is in the about page I'm going to have all of my links and the information about the website. So for my links, I'm gonna have my Instagram, YouTube, all of that, and I'm just gonna be adding it. So I'm gonna be working on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then for the customs page, okay, I'm gonna create the custom page again. I'm gonna make it in a store format. So custom page, and then I'm gonna click okay, or I'm gonna click next. And then I'm going to create a sub page in it for specific products. So this can be can be the cardigan sub page. And then I'll have like a beanie sub page. So you can literally ask for any um, custom piece that you want, essentially. I've gotten butt loads of requests on custom cardigans, but when I officially release and open the shop, the custom page will not be open just because I want to invest in the best quality material that I can so that all of the pieces can last a long time, um, all the pieces can be sustainable, and they will be the co most comfortable, most coziest type of pieces that you'll ever have. So I really, so right now I'm still going to be putting in all of the love and care into the products but later down the line, I'm gonna invest to just create better products more and more in the future. So that is why I'm not gonna let, ha I'm not gonna have the custom page open at the time of the launch. 
unfortunately. So in this page here, I'm going to have the different tutorials that I made on YouTube and some that I'm going to have in the future. And right here, I already put it in because my camera just stopped recording. So I'm going to try and show you again. All I did was choose the blocks that I want to work on and I clicked the YouTube link and then I searched up my YouTube name here. And then the cardigan tutorial, for example, I have here. And all I do is drag it to make it as big as I want it to be, just so the thumbnail can be seen. And so I'm just gonna drag it down a bit. And then I can create a little text description. This is a cardigan tutorial. Just as an example of how the tutorial um, part will work. And I'm also gonna eventually create some patterns. So just in case you can't or you don't want to purchase an actual item, but you just want to make it yourself, I'll have some patterns available, especially for people who prefer written patterns rather than an actual video tutorial. And I am not the best at patterns just yet, but I will work on it so that they will be available to you all. Okay, so right now I'm going to go through the pages that I made and design it up a little bit better so that I can have at least a good layout so then when I finish my products, I can easily upload it to the website and then customize it from there. So I'm going to do that and then actually get started with designing the products. So let's get into it. Okay, right now I'm going to get started with designing the different pieces. I already have a set idea of what I'm going to sell, which is going to be tote bags, beanies, arm warmers, leg warmers. I think that'll be it for the first launch. Um, I just really have to go through the different designs of how I want them to look, as well as what yarn I'll be using for them. For the tote bags, I decided that I'm going to use cotton because the cotton yarn makes the bags more durable and they can get wet. So if you take it like to the beach or the pool and it gets wet, then nothing bad will happen to um, the bag or anything. So I designed a bunch of different ideas for leg warmers, tote bags, and beanies. And I got super excited to make them for the first launch. But then when it was actually time to start creating the pieces, I was like, there's absolutely no way I can get these done in the time frame that I want. So I decided to make my first launch a small launch so it can kind of test the waters as well as not burn me out while I create the products for it. After designing, I got straight to work and began with the tote bags first. I made the tote bags with 100% cotton yarn and worked on all three tote bags at the same time so they could all be finished at the same time. It was a lengthy process, I'm not gonna lie, but I was able to finish them in three days with hands that were begging me to stop and a couple of teardrops were shed, I'm not gonna lie. After I got most of the tote bags halfway complete, I started the leg warmers, which were two pairs, and I was happy that I was able to get the base parts of the leg warmers done in just six to eight hours. Then, going back to the tote bags, I connected all of the squares together and then added the ruffles and leaves to the leg warmers. For the tote bags, I finished them by adding the straps and weaving in the ends, and I was finally finished. This process took about two to three days, but only because this was the only thing I did. Okay, so if you can tell, it's been a couple of days. I just finished working on all of the products that I'm gonna be putting on the first launch of the shop, and I'm gonna show them to you. So I made three bags. It's going to be this lavender and black granny square tote bag, like this, this all, beige and gray and green tote bag and then this lavender and beige tote bag so all three of these will be on the shop and i am going to include this tote bag that i made in my um tutorial this velvet black and pink tote bag i'm adding this as well and then i made two pairs of the leaf leg warmers and I'm gonna add them on there as well. This yarn is so soft. Like, I don't know if I wanna let these go, but I am. But these are so soft, it's incredible. I made these with 100% cotton and 
I really like how the cotton turned out and it's cool because you can take these like to the beach, you can get them soaking wet and it'll be perfectly fine. I'm also going to be including two of the bralettes I made in one of my spring tutorials because I just, I don't wear them, I just made them to see how many variations I could make and so I'm going to put them on the shop with all of the sizing and everything. I'm adding this hat I made a while ago. It's just a regular beanie. I'm also adding this bralette that was with that bra and shorts uh, set that I made for my spring crochet video. And I don't wear this as much as I wear the shorts, so I'm gonna add this as well. And finally, I'm going to be adding the shrug that I made. This one here with the pattern, the different um, textures here, I'm gonna be adding this to the shop as well. So now that I have all the pieces done and ready, I'm just gonna take pictures of them add them onto the website, make any extra changes that I need to do, and then I will show you the official site tour. Okay, so I just finished uploading the products onto the shop and finished everything on the website so now I can officially show you the shop tour. Okay, so if I click this world icon, it'll take me to the actual page as if I'm someone who's shopping on it. Here is the first page that anybody will see. It has two pictures of different products that I make and then when you scroll down it says the title of the shop which is Cozy Cardigan. And I made like the, I wanted the description to be as simple as possible, so I put the coziest handmade fashion and accessories. And then when you scroll down, that's when the different pages on the, sh on the uh, website can be seen. So I have a shop page, an about page, portfolio, customs, and tutorials. And if you scroll all the way down, there's my Instagram, YouTube, and email for contact. So. And there's also like a little two bars on the left side where you can choose the pages as well if you don't feel like scrolling. So the first thing I'm going to show is what the shop looks like. So I'm going to click the button and then it takes me to the shop and it says shop the latest drops here. All you do is scroll down and it looks like pretty ragged everywhere, I'm not going to lie. And I'll probably fix that before this video comes out. But this is essentially what it's going to look like. It has different buttons to get to the item that you want. Like say if you scroll down and you're like, oh wow, I really like this beige and lavender tote. Let me learn more information about it. You'll click the button there and then it'll take you to the actual page of the beige and lavender bag. So right here I can scroll through the different images that I posted for this specific bag. And then there's a, like a little description that I made as well as all the materials and measurements for the specific bag. For the measurements, I wanted it to be as accurate as possible. So I put every single measurement down. And for example, in the shrug, for the shrug measurements, I even added my measurements so you can understand how it fit on me. And if you are a similar size to me, then this would fit on you. And later on, I'm gonna have multiple sizes and everything. So that's what the shop is looking like. And then I have the about page. It talks a little bit about Cozy Cardigan and me. And then it talks about sustainability and how I basically am gradually getting better at the sustainability of the shop and everything. And I also have articles if anyone wants to learn more about sustainability. And then again, I have my contact email, my YouTube and my Cardigan Instagram. And then when you go back and click portfolio, it's coming soon, it's not done yet, but it's going to be filled with different pieces that I make that I'm not gonna sell and the process of making specific pieces and everything. But I explained all that earlier in the video. When you go back and click customs, this is where you can order a custom cardigan, custom beanies, custom tote bags, and custom leg warmers. I might have more stuff, but this is it just for now. 
not, it is not open yet. I'm probably gonna open it on August 18th, my birthday, when I do a huge launch on the website. So this is like a tiny launch, but then next month I'm gonna have a huge launch. So if you click, okay, I wanna get a cardigan customized, a custom cardigan, you scroll down and it tells you all of the information that I need, like your waist size, arm length, arm circumference, et cetera, et cetera. You can choose what specific colors you want and then any additional requests and then how to contact me if you want to send me an image like if you saw something you're and you're like i want my cardigan to kind of look like this then you can just send that to me and i will work it through and yeah the customs are not open just yet i'm still figuring out pricing and materials and stuff i want to use the best materials for customs as well as everything else but i'm just going to be working on that a little bit longer and then the last page is the tutorial page where I have linked my different YouTube tutorials. And then later on, I'm gonna have written patterns here as well. I hope this was helpful for anyone who was looking forward to opening an online shop or was thinking about doing so, but had a bunch of doubts. I highly recommend Universe. I used it for the first time throughout this video and I genuinely fell in love with the app and how customizable it is for my own online shop. So I do really, really recommend it. Even if you're someone who doesn't want to open an online shop and just want a place to show off your beautiful art, why don't you use Universe? It's completely free, so why not? To sign up, just click the link in the description box below and you can look at my own shop for inspiration on your own. If you do end up creating your own shop or an art portfolio, definitely promote it on my Discord in my self-promo area so tons of people can look at it and I can check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Universe for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.